seating for Excellence Church. I thank Christian Jubilee and Pastor Mentor for uh, inviting me to speak today for the youth service this afternoon. I thank my pastor, Pastor Thomas, and my mom, Prophetess Alicia Caldwell Austin. Just to share a little bit about myself, um, I am a seventh grader at Davis Middle School in Rockdale County. I'm 13 years old. I sing an honor chorus. Um, I enjoy praise dancing, and I love theater. Uh, I also like basketball and tennis. Recently, my pastor asked, what comes first, belief or faith? The answer was belief, because as you believe, your faith will follow. Amen. It is difficult to have faith in something you do not believe in. As we look at our theme, children of God planting deep roots, it starts with knowing that you are a child of God, of the living God, knowing your identity and believing in it, and then you are only then are you able to plant deep roots. Amen. It is very important, especially today, to believe in God. I heard older people say, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Amen. There are a lot of people in the world who try to trick you, so you have to be aware of what is going on around you so you can plant deep roots. That is the start of planting strong deep roots. Psalm 1 and 3 says, He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever he prospers, whatever he does prospers. What does it mean for a tree to be planted in streams of water? It means the tree is in the right position to flourish, shine, and prosper, Amen. yielding good fruit in season. That describes the tree doing what God intended it to do, produce good fruit and do it in God's time in his season. That is exactly what God wants us to do. Amen. The leaves do not wither because the tree is strongly planted. What does it mean to wither, to lose life, energy, and dry up or shrivel up? This tree is in, God, is in good place, connected to a good source. This shows that we have to stay connected to God in order to have life. Amen. Amen. We all know. <laughs> we all know what it means to prosper. And that, in the natural, we relate it to being rich. Well, wealthy, well off, fallen, but God's word goes even further as he wants us to have life and have it more abundantly with joy, peace, love, and the fruit of the spirit. Amen. Turn to Jeremiah chapter 17, beginning in verse 7 through 8. Oh, yeah. When you have it, say amen. <laughs> trust in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water. It does not fear when heat comes. It leaves, its leaves are always free, and it has no worry. It worries in the year of drought, and never fails to bear fruit. Again, in these two verses, the prophet Jeremiah is saying, those that are planted in the Word and trust in God will live a prosperous life full of peace and will always be taken care of by God. Amen. Basically, they are blessed. Amen. It also shows that there are great blessings that come with trusting God. When I thought about being a child of God planted in deep roots, three things came to mind. Growth. Everyone say, I want to grow. I want to grow. Strength. Everyone say, I want to be strong in the Lord. I want to be strong in the Lord. And three is stability. Repeat after me. I want to be steady, not tossed back and forth. I want to be steady, not tossed back and forth. First of all, growth shows progression, going forward in life, and more knowledge about Jesus, his word, and his ways. Growth is important as a child of God. Secondly, 
Secondly, strength. We get strength from receiving the proper nutrients from the Word of God and the bread of life. Strength from God is your power source and has positively impacts your life. How about prayer? How many know that prayer has power? Amen. Praying, which is talking to God and meditating, which is listening to God, is a real, is real power source that gives you deep roots. I mentioned thirdly, stability. Stability helps you in difficult situations. It helps you make the right decisions. It helps you resist your. It helps you resist peer pressure and not hang with the wrong crowd. Amen. It keeps you when it keeps you when others are trying to influence you to do the wrong thing, to actually take a stand and do the right thing and say, "Don't do, don't ch no to cigarettes, no to drugs, and no to alcohol." Amen. 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 School is one of those places where you really have to take a stand. As I close, I'm going to ask you to turn to John chapter 4, beginning in verse 4 through 13. This scripture is talking about Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman. When you have it, say amen. amen. Beginning in verse 4. Now he had to go through Samaria. So he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from the journey, sat down by the well. It was about noon when a Samaritan woman came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew, and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who, and who it is that asked you for a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. Sir, the woman said, You have nothing to draw with the well. The well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? who gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did also his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become, will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Children of God planting deep roots must have a good water source. As we just read, Jesus is living water. Yes. When you drink from Him, you will thirst no more. Amen. When you drink from Him, you will have you will have deep roots, and when you drink from His water, you can live forever. Amen. Amen. My first message to our church was entitled "You Must Be Born Again." So, in order to have deep roots and to experience spiritual growth, supernatural strength. And, and a life, and a life stable, and a, and live a stable life. As I mentioned earlier, you must receive Jesus in your heart. Yes. Planting deep roots also means sharing your faith with others. I pray if you have not received Jesus in your heart, that you will today. It will totally change your life as it has mine. The ministers here will lead you in prayer of salvation which means to ask Jesus to live in your heart. God bless you. Thank you. Amen.